Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with a small haul. And these are new. They're called Brusho Crystal Colors. They're intense um, watercolors, but they're like in a powder form. Okay. And it says they're transparent. You can use them for color washes, wood staining, printing, bleaching, all kinds of uses. Now this pack had uh, 12 colors in it. So I'll show you the colors and how they come. Now you can't see the colors in them because they're in this little thing. You can open this up, but that's not what I'm going to do because to me, I would probably waste a whole bunch. So these are the colors that are, there's like 30 some colors. I think I counted last night. 33 colors or 30, 34 colors. So I got 12. And uh, it did come in a package of 24, but the 24 package was like 120 bucks. <laughs> so I just got the 12. And um, then I'll try to find somewhere else where I can maybe buy them separately. I saw a few places on, I think it was Etsy or eBay that I could get them a few colors separately. So if I like them, I can get some more. So there's emerald green, turquoise, dark brown, and black. So I'll bring this in again so you can see the difference different of colors quite a nice palette then I have purple orange leaf green scarlet and br brilliant red lemon ultramarine and yellow so how I think I'm gonna use it and I saw someone um, on YouTube there they took a push pin and they put a hole through the top I don't have push pins so I just have my pokey tool so instead of taking this off I'm just going to use this and then I can sprinkle the color on instead so I'm just going to open a few of course you can make the hole oops as big or as little as you want Okay, this one looks kind of lame. There. And then I can kind of show you a couple things you can, well, one thing for sure that you can do with them. And I thought it was so cool, like to make backgrounds. It's going to be amazing. I said I was going to open a couple and I'm already... I've already opened half. I just don't know what color I'm going to want to use. So it's just taking a few seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some watercolor paper. And I had a piece. Well, it's going to look like a full sheet, but I had, I don't know, was trying something out. And instead of trying it to the to the side, because this is more than 12 by 12, instead of trying it to the side so that it wasn't used, I did it right in the middle. So that sheet. So I'm going to do it on this side. Okay. So what you need is those and for one of the techniques and a spray bottle filled with water. Okay. So we're going to start off with turquoise. So you're not going to see too much now. So it's just little grains. Like it's literally powder. Okay, so we'll do turquoise. And we'll do... Uh, hmm. Purple? Sure. Purple. I feel like I'm cooking. <laughs> In yellow. Ooh, that one's coming out. In yellow. And we'll put a little bit of orange. Okay. We'll just do that for now. Then you have your spray bottle. 
and you just start spraying and the magic happens. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so the more water you add, that is so cool. And I just kind of added, you know, random colors there. And then again, you can add more water and then let it run the different effects. But that is so cool. And it was no work at all. Now, another way that they say you can use it is, let me see. I don't want to waste another one. So I'll do it on the other side. I'll just dry this up. Oh, I love that. And like I said, I just kind of used random colors. Oh, I love my paper towel. But that is so cool. Oh. So, and then another thing you can do is put a little bit of warm water in. Um, if you want to use it as a paint, you put a little bit of warm water and then you add the brush out to it. And then it can be like a paint too. So another way they say that you can use it is spritz your water first and then add your color. And what this can do is, is then you can kind of see where your color is too. So you have a little bit more control, I guess, if you, okay, Mr. Yellow, a little bit more control if you do this way. Whew. It's really cool that it's like a powder. And then we'll do some green. And then once you have this down too, then you can add always add more water. And turquoise. I think turquoise is my favorite color. Okay. Super cool. Where's purple? Purple. There it is. These have been around forever. It's, um, from the UK, but they're just hitting sort of the market on sort of this side of the world now. But oh my goodness, that is so cool. And I really like, like once you use your paper towel too, and you kind of absorb some of that and they're so vibrant. So that's going to be so easy to make some really cool backgrounds using these watercolors. So I got mine at uh, Simon Says Stamp. And it comes in a package. There's a package of 6, of 12, and 24. So I bought the package of 12. And then a few days later, I bought the package of 6. So I'm going to have 18 to start with. So I just thought I'd share that with you. So thanks for watching. Bye.